Hey, welcome to the show. Today in the show, we're going to be taking sums of equal numbers. And basically what that is, is we're going to be taking a number, an even number, and we're going to be dividing that into halves. All right, stay tuned. Okay, right there I have eight cubes. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And what I want to do is I want to put these eight cubes into two equal groups. So first of all, what I'm going to do on this equation right here is I'm going to put the number eight right here. And now I'm going to divide these into two equal groups. And I have a really cool technique to do that with cups and the cubes. Oh, basically what I want you to do is when we are breaking these cubes apart, you're going to put one cube in here and then another cube in there. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. And while I'm doing that, you need to count out each of these blocks. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I have one, two, three, four cubes in this cup, and I have one, two, three, four cubes in this cup. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to write the number right above here. So I'm going to put four right here and four right here. So eight equals four plus four. Two equal groups, all right? All right, let's try another one. Okay, I have six cubes. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm going to go ahead and write that into the equation. And I can put six right here if I want to. So six equals some number here and then another number there. Or I can put the six on the other side. It doesn't matter when you are making an a, uh, equation if you have the equal sign on this side or on that side. So if you're used to having it on the other side, we can just change it. So I can put it right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and divide this into two equal groups. So once again, I'm just going to go ahead and put the cubes in and I'm going to say the number as I count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have one, two, three cubes in here, and I have another one, two, three cubes in here. So all I'm going to do is write the number three up here and the number three right here. So I have two equal groups of three. So three plus three equals six. All right, let's go do another one. All right, here is my next equation right here. I have 10 equals some number here plus another number. You can say an add-in if you want to. Some add-in here plus another add-in. So you'll notice I took those cups off of there because I want to teach you a different technique. What I want you to do is kind of put a circle, all right? Nice big circle like that, and another big circle like that right underneath this blank. And what we are going to do is use tally marks to find the answer. So first of all, I want to hear you count to 10. And when you're counting to 10, I want you to use your finger like this. And I want you to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Can we try that one more time? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. The reason I'm doing it that way is I'll show you. Now we're going to take that same technique that you used with your finger and we're going to draw ta um, tally marks right in to our circles. So we can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay? See how that helped? Now we're going to count how many tally marks there are in each of these circles. So I have one, two, three, four, five tally marks right here and I have one, two, three, four, five tally marks right there. Okay, so I have two groups of five. So 10 plus, 10 equals five plus five. All right, let's do another problem. All right, we got our next problem here. We have a number plus another number that equals 14, and we need to make two equal groups. So once again, I'm gonna make a big circle right underneath here, and another circle right underneath here. 
okay? So we're going to put tally marks into these circles. We're going to count to 14. Remember how we did it before? We went 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So let's use that same technique as we put them into the circles. And remember, there's a common mistake that some students want to put all the 14 tally marks in one circle. So this is the reason why I'm trying to teach you to go like this, back and forth, back and forth. So let's try that again on 14. Count with me. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay? So now I'm going to count the tally marks on here. So I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I have seven tally marks right here. And then I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 tally marks right there. Okay? So 7 plus 7 equals 14. I have two groups of 7 that equal 14. So what I want to do right now before I go on to any other, any other pro, um, problems is I want to simplify something right here. It took me a while to count these tally marks. And so remember um, in some of your classes how we took tally marks and we made groups of 5. So if I want to make a group of a t of 5, I would go 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Okay? That makes it so much easier to count. So I'm just going to kind of go back a little bit, and I want to do that counting of the 14 again, okay? Just to make it a little bit easier for us. So when we do the next problem, we can start grouping our tally marks. Okay, let's count it out again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So much easier to read this because I have a group of 5 here. So I go 5. I don't have to count them out. 5, 6, 7. 5, 6, 7. Okay? All right. One step closer to getting to be an expert in this, a math ninja. All right. Let's do another problem. You ready for another one? All right, here we got the problem. Some number plus another number equals 18. An add-in plus another add-in equals 18. We gotta take that 18 and do our ninja chop, whoosh, split them in half, all right? The best way to do that, we're gonna put a circle in here, we're just gonna draw a circle, and we're gonna draw another circle. You know, drawing out math problems, story problems, or just math problems, it sends crazy, cool signals to your brain. It really helps. So I encourage you always to be drawing and do little figures for mathematics. It just brings a lot deeper understanding. All right, let's get going. Remember, we're going to count to 18. We're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay, are you ready? And we're going to be making, yep, tally marks. Let's do it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Whew, that was a big number, wasn't it? But it makes it so much easier when we count our tally marks because now we have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, we put the 9 right here, and another 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 right there. 9 plus 9 equals 18. Whoa, you guys, you're doing it, you're getting it, you're getting it. All right, let's do a couple more right there. All right, let's do it. All right, welcome back. Hey, this is a little different right here. We have our sum, which is the answer. We have an add in here, and we're missing an add in right there, or the number, okay? So we have some number plus another number equals 12. Now, in mathematics, there are so many different ways to find the answer, so many different possibilities. But let's stick with that strategy that we were using today, and that was that circle, all right? We'll just draw that circle right now, all right? I need to figure out 6 plus another number equals 12. So let's just go ahead and count how um, using tally marks, all right? So we start with 6, we go... 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, okay? So 
6 plus, let me see, 5, 6, 6 plus 6 equals 12, okay? Super easy, cheesy, lemon squeezy, yeah. All right, we're just about done with the lesson, but I have a quiz for you. I want you to do these three problems on a piece of paper, and you can go ahead and freeze the video, and when you're done, go ahead and unfreeze it, and we'll go over the answers. Okay, let's go ahead and freeze it. Okay, all right, we are ready to solve the problem. Okay, now, we got three problems. Okay, let's do this one first. A number plus a number, another number equals 20. An add-in plus another add-in equals 20, and 20 is the sum. We need to make that into two equal groups. You ready? Let's do it, yeah! All right, so I'm gonna make a circle right here, and a circle right here, get a count to 20, and I'm gonna have to do it a little bit smaller. Sorry about that, but I, I'm kind of running out of room on the board here. So I'm just gonna count to 20 here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. <clears throat> Whoa, that was the biggest number we did in this whole lesson. Got to get myself a drink of water afterwards. All right, let's go ahead and count them up. And it's super easy, lemon squeezy, cheesy, 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 cheesy to count those up because we have those bundled in five. 510, right there. 510, right here. 10 plus 10 equals 20. Yeah, two equal groups. Dias e dias. All right, ready to go on to the next one? Let's do it, yeah. I'm just gonna erase this so it doesn't get too confusing here. This part right here. All right, how'd you do on that? Did you do pretty good? All right, come on, let's do this one. Are you ready? All right, uh, we're gonna go to 14. We need to make two equal groups. All right, uh, for right now, just because I'm running out of room on here, I'm just gonna make the tally marks right down below here. So, different technique, but it still works. All right, let's go to 14. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. All right, let's count them up. Five, six, seven. Siete, five, six, seven. Siete, teaching you a little Spanish on the side there, all right. Seven plus seven equals 14. Two equal groups of seven, all right? Equal 14. You ready to do the next one? Let's do it, yeah! I'm gonna go ahead and erase this problem here. I'm going to erase this problem here. And I'm just going to move this one up, all right, so that you can see this a little better. Another number equals, this number plus three equals six. All right. We're going to use our ninja skills to take six and bam, cut it right in half. All right. So try to visualize when you're doing numbers when I mean, you're doing digits, try to visualize it like six. When I visualize six, I visualize six as looking like this, all right? Three dots, three dots. So I got three, four, five, six, three, right here. Three plus three equals six. Three plus three equals six. How'd you do? Did you get an A plus? I know you did. You are math pros today. Hey, thanks a lot for watching the math show today. I have other cool math videos that I've done and that I'm going to be doing. Plus, we have a really cool drawing show with my son, Lucas, and myself. You got to check it out. And I would love if you were to like my videos and subscribe. Like always, I want you to have a fun day out there and get some exercise. So we'll talk to you later. Adios. Bye-bye.